Hey guys, this is Mrs. Gassler, and in this video we're going to talk about how to calculate density from a graph. Now we've already talked about what density is and how you can look at a graph and understand some things about density, but this is specifically about doing the calculation. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to first remember that on a graph of, of mass versus volume, the slope is the density okay so if a question asks you to find the density and it gives you a graph it's asking you to find the slope so let's say uh, how do we find the slope okay now this is the same exact thing for math class so everything you learned in math class works here too uh, we're just going to do rise over run sometimes people write it change in y over change in x or uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It doesn't matter how you write it, it's all the same thing. So uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to pick two points, right? Pick two points. So I like to pick points that I can easily read the scale from and this one where it's like right in the middle looks like a pretty good one to pick um, and then none of the other ones are really right in the middle um, which means I'm gonna have to do some estimating. I don't like estimating either. Uh, let's see, no, no. I don't know, that one might be like a third, maybe that's a good one. We'll pick this one here, okay? So I got my first point and my second point. Doesn't matter which one's first, doesn't matter which one's second, it all works out in the math in the end. Then, uh, so let's see, I've got my, I'm gonna put my Y's together, my X's together. So let's see, my Y's, I've got, that's right in the middle, so that's nine, and that's not quite, that's like, that's like not here, but here, so that would be 12 and a half, right? 12.5, and those are both grams. And then on my X's, I've got one, is that right? One, nine, and one milliliter. And then I've got, um, here I've got, that's 1.4, so I'll go with 1.4 milliliters, okay? So now all I have to do is use my formula. Now I'm gonna have an easier time writing the one that says y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And as long as I have my numbers in the same place, it doesn't matter which one comes first. But since I want, I don't, I don't wanna to have to divide with negative, so I'm gonna put the bigger number in front. So, so I'm gonna do 12.5 grams minus nine grams, and then I'm gonna divide that and I'm gonna, the one that goes with 12.5 needs to go under, so 1.4 milliliters minus one milliliter, okay? So let's see, I have no idea. Let's use my handy calculator here. 12.5 minus nine, I get 3.5 grams on top, and then 1.4, I can do that one in my head, is 0.4 milliliters on the bottom. So that's the math I'm gonna plug into my calculator. So 3.5, oops, 3.5 divided by point Four, and I get 8.75 and then I just have to tack on my units grams per milliliter now I realize this is copper and so we would probably have used um, centimeters cubed instead of milliliters but perhaps this was measured by water displacement and that's why there's milliliters there um, I also happen to know off the top of my head because I'm a crazy chemistry teacher that the density of copper is 8.96 grams per centimeter cubed which is pretty close uh, remember that when you're using a graph and you're estimating where these points are that it's not going to be exact and that's okay um, the point is uh, often you might have to like choose whichever one's closest anyway and the, the answer choices are generally not that close but as long as you're doing the math correctly um, that's all that really matters on calculating density from a graph thanks for watching